In this session, we are discussing how a binary tree can be represented inside the computer's memory. So, we know that we can draw a binary tree like this, but how the tree can get represented in the computer's memory that is a topic going to be discussed here. So, there are two methods are there, there are two representations. One is the linked representation in the memory, another one is the sequential representation in the memory. In the linked representation, we shall use some link fields, left link, right link, and in case of sequential representation, we shall represent one binary tree into an array. So, here is the implementation. Let us suppose this is the tree, here I have implemented the same in the linked representation. In case of linked representation, we shall define one record or one structure, so which is having a left link, right link and the info. It is not mandatory that the info will be having a single field. The info can be of multi field. You can have first name, last name, age, sex, phone number, mobile number. So, a record, full record can be the info part. Okay. So, info can contain multiple fields. And this is my left link which will hold the address of the left child and this is the right link which will be holding the address of its right child. So, here you see here I have written this addresses at the node, node addresses just uh, I have written a1, a2, a3, a stands for address. So, I have written those addresses here and now what is happening you see 50 is having the left child 25 and the right child 76. So, we are having this 50. The left child is 25 in a separate node, right child is 76 with the separate node. This node is having the address A2 and this node is having the address A3. So, here in the left link I am having A2, here in this left link I am having this A3. So, in this way this particular structure has been built. Now, if you consult them you will be getting the parity. Now, whenever a particular node is having no right child or left child or both in the case that field is getting filled up with some null with some 0 considering that 0 is a not a not a valid node address. In this way the tree can get represented. Now, let us come to the sequential representation that is my topic number 2 representation method number 2. In case of sequential representation the tree will be represented in an array in one dimensional array like this you see. 50, 25, 76, 50, 25, 76. We are having this 11, 22 blank space, 88, 11, 22 no child, 88. Then we are having this blank, 25, blank, 71, blank, 25, blank, 71. If this node was there, then it would have some left child and right child. So, blank, blank, 90, blank. So, we are having this blank blank 90 blank. In this way this particular tree has got represented here. So, how many nodes it can have up to this level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3. Up to this level 3 how many nodes it can have? It can have 1 plus 2 3 plus 4 7 plus 8 15. So, that is why I have taken this array having got size 1 to 15. Okay. Now, here are two points are there. Just see, 76 having the left child, let it be blank, at this uh, uh, left child is blank and right child is 88. You see 76 at the location 3, its right child is at the location 7 and left child blank, obviously blank, but the location reserve was 6. So, for 3 I am having 6 and 7. In this way, if I go for 6, 25, it is 11 and 22, 25 is my uh, at the location number 2 and 11 22 at the location number 4 5. So, when the root node is at the location 3, I am having this uh, 6 and 7. So, 6 and 7 are the addresses for the left child and right child. So, this is the root, this is the left child and this is the right child. If I am having this root here that means 25, then the left child and right child 11 and 22, they, they were found at location 4 and 5. So, that means if the root at the kth position then the left child will be at 2 star k and right child will be at the 2 star k plus 1. So, that is a very famous logic. Left child and right child position of a node at location k are 2 star k and 2 star k plus 1. So, that is a very interesting one. 
So, who is the left child and who is the right child? After writing it in the sequential form, in the sequential representation, that relationship is not getting void. That relationship is still there. We can easily find it out. Now, see. Now, do the reverse, please. From this 6 and 7, how to get back 3? From this 4 and 5, how to get back 2? It is nothing but whatever the value you are having by 2 floor of that. Floor means you are taking the highest integer smaller than that value. So, 6 by 6 by 2, 3. Floor of that, 3. 7 by 2, 3.5. Floor of that, 3. So, in this we can work. So, root node location number of a node at location number k is equal to k by 2 floor of that. It is not third bracket, it is floor, floor of that. So, in this way I can have the relationship that who is the left child, who is the right child and who is my parent, I can easily get it from here. Now, question is coming in the mind that which representation is better and which representation is not good where you should use this linked representation and where you should use this linear representation or sequential representation. Okay. Now, see let us suppose that is a particular tree which is having only the left child which is having only the left child say like this. So, let us suppose that is a particular tree I am not writing this value I am just putting start there indicating that here we are having this values are there. So, in this case we are having this particular tree which is having only the left child, all the nodes are having only the left, left child. So, this is known as left skewed tree. Similarly, I can have a tree which is having all the nodes are having the right child only the left node is having none obviously. So, in that case this is known as right skewed tree, left skewed tree. Okay. See, so what will happen in this case? So, now what will happen in this case? In this case, if you represent them in the linear fashion, in the sequential representation, so many blank spaces will be there in the array and the array almost will get, the array will almost will get a sparse array in that case because we will be having node, then node blank, then node blank, 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 then node and then we are having 7 blank spaces, one node then we will be having 15 blank spaces and that is obviously not a good representation in the uh, sequential representation because that array will become almost sparse. So, that is why or otherwise say if you have one tree which is not left skewed or right skewed, but having a single node having a single node at each and every level in that case also the problem will persist as the same. In those cases I will be going for the linked representation because linked representation will always occupy that amount of memory space which is quite equal to number of nodes into memory space per node. So, number of nodes how many nodes we are having into memory space per node. So, that is the memory space requirement for the linked representation irrespective of the shape of the tree. But in case of linear representation up to how many levels the tree is there that will decide the length of the array. So, in case of skewed trees obviously, I should go for this linked representation the, rather than this sequential representation. But in case of complete binary tree, you know that in case of complete binary tree up to the last but one level all the levels will have the maximum number of nodes, only the last level can have partial number of nodes, can also have the maximum number of nodes, but from the extreme left child to the, to the last node there should not be any missing node. So, that is known as the complete binary tree. In our other videos, we have discussed that one. In case of complete binary tree, I can go for the linear representation because in that case, there will be no blank space throughout the array. But if you go for the uh, linked representation, then due to the presence of this link fields, some memory spaces are going to be wasted because here we are keeping, we are occupying memory only to hold info, but here you are occupying memory to hold info along with that the left link address and the right link address. So, it is occupying more memory compared to this in case of complete binary tree. And in case of linear representation, I know who are my children. This node knows that who are the children, but this node does not know that who is my parent. That means, you cannot move up, but you can move down. But in case of sequential representation, 
we can move in the forward direction towards my children because I know my equation kth node will have the left child as 2 star k and right child at 2 star k plus 1 place and the kth node will have the parent at k by 2 floor of that place. So, that means I can move to and fro in case of linear representation, sequential representation, but that is not possible in case of uh, linked representation. Here you can only come from top to bottom, not bottom up approach is applicable there. So, these are the different advantages and disadvantages related with this sequential representation and linked representation. So, that is why they are existing side by side with the programmers. Uh, we shall have to decide that which representation we shall be using while writing our algorithms. So, I think you are getting my logic. Thanks for watching this video.